So it's no surprise that Donald Trump is a giant dum-dum. We've covered that a ton, but he kicked it into overdrive this weekend because during his giant event where he gave his speech in front of the crowd, he openly admitted to a felony. In front of millions of people watching, he openly admitted to a felony. Check this out and we'll break it down. Back, They said, he won't do it, sir. I said, let me handle it. This is easy. You know, I got this guy elected. One thing has nothing to do with the other. One thing has nothing. There's no quid pro quo. You remember that word from the fake Ukraine deal? The fake Ukraine. We had Russia, Russia, Russia. Ukraine, Ukraine, Ukraine. They were both fake deals, okay? I got impeached twice on fake news. But I said to these young people, let me handle it. I was going to show them how good I am. Let me handle it. I'll call him up. I said, Brian, listen, you know, you have a big election integrity problem in Georgia. I hope you can help us out and call a special election. And let's get to the bottom of it for the good of the country. Let's get to the bottom of it for the good of your state. Let's go. Election integrity. What could be better than that? Sir, I'm sorry. I, I cannot do that. I said, whoa. I said, you cannot do that. And that's why, uh, let me tell you, this guy's a disaster. He's that is Trump admitting to election interference. He is currently under investigation in Georgia to interfere in that election, specifically calling Raffensperger and demanding that the votes be found. And this is an additional piece of evidence of Donald Trump calling up the governor and demanding that because he got him elected, he is owed a special election to address election integrity in that state. Now, Donald Trump tries to catch himself sort of half realizing what he did and say, oh, this isn't quid pro quo, when the whole narrative of how he sets the story up is I got this guy elected, it should be no big deal for me to make a demand of him, is exactly the rationale you use in a quid pro quo type situation or a blackmail or a bribery or a whatever sort of situation. And it certainly is, it certainly does fit the bill of the election interference investigation happening in that state. And I'm not the only one that thinks that. A respected legal scholar said, much the same thing yesterday observing this when she said the evidence to support the Fulton County DA's investigation just keeps getting better. Prosecutors don't always have a target on tape explaining his thought process also probative on Trump's state of mind on January 6th. So what that person is saying, what that legal scholar is saying that professor is saying is look Donald Trump just gave people a golden nugget of evidence on tape in front of a crowd of hundreds of thousands digitally and in person of witnesses he is openly saying yes i got this guy elected i feel he owed me something and so i called him up and asked for the thing now he didn't give me the thing and that's why he's a bad guy but that's my thought process that is an open admission that he felt he was entitled to finagle to interfere in the process of georgia's election because it didn't go his way and because he was entitled to a particular result based on what he did for some of the key people in that state whether it was endorsing them or helping them get votes or helping them fundraise or any of those sorts of things. I don't know what more needs to be done. Donald Trump needs to be indicted in Georgia. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. This one is one of the more serious ones because it's Trump directly, personally putting his thumb on the scale of democracy, of the actual voting. That might be the most troubling one of all. And now we have the most proof that we've ever had in any of these cases of direct criminal intent. Now is gut check time. Are the Democrats, are investigators going to hold this guy to account? You have the ex-president announcing on tape that he's a crook. Make him pay for it.